Uh, do you remember that time on the Atrato River when our skiff capsized? How could I forget? Part gorillas on each side. They had us surrounded. Piranhas in the water. Man, I was glad you were there that day. Now, don't forget, you still owe me. Oh, Abby. Huh? Hey, this is Matt, or Matt, Randy McIntyre. He's nice one of my old Marine Corps buds. Nice to meet you, Randy. He's with the U.S. Marshal Service now. Said he wants to talk to both of us. Nice to meet you too, Mrs. Cooper. So is this an official visit, or are you just here to talk old times? Officially, it's just a friendly visit, but off the record, not so much. I'm sure you remember how it is. Yeah, what's up? We have a leak in the service. We've been losing some key witnesses in the WITSEC program, and we need to ferret out whoever it is. But well, where do we come in? We want to plant you and Abby in Bishop, Oklahoma as part of the program. It's where we lost our last witness. Ah, and you want us to be the bait. Oh, I hate to put it that way. Wait a minute. You want us to be the bait? Oh, you don't need to worry. We've got a man there in Bishop, and he'll be keeping an eye on you all the time. I don't see how we can help you. Well, Ace has the experience. With that experience, he'd be able to deal with any situation. But he doesn't exactly look like he's been training for the triathlon. Both of you look like an average couple. You'd be perfect as decoys. Bait. Okay then, if you insist on that word, bait. The answer is no, we have a lot. And we're not doing something as stupid as that. Mac, we're gonna have to talk about this. So, Mac, when do you need to know? We need to know as soon as possible. Talk about it, but don't take too long. We've got a lot to do, and a lot of innocent people are dying. Yeah, but more not so innocent. That's true, but we've got to get this problem taken care of. This program works, even if we do have to protect undesirables. Yeah. Hope to hear from you soon. You'll hear from us, one way or the other. What? Talk to me. About what? You know about what. We need to talk about this. I absolutely don't understand why you're even considering this. At what cost and, and for what? You're the one that always says we should do more things together. I just think we ought to get some more information before so we can come to a good decision. No, I don't want to do this. We've worked too hard for what we have just because you want to go off on some wild adventure. Listen. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued about this. I just think that we ought to consider it. And don't you want to know how it turns out in the end? So we can get killed? We're not going to get killed. That can happen in these operations, but Randy's a pro. These guys are professionals. Absolutely not. I am not going to do this just to save some lives of some criminals. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll call Randy tomorrow and tell him we're not interested. Thank you.
911. Can I help? No. Ma'am, is anyone there? Excuse me, my, my, my name's Hunter Mason. I'm with the U.S. Marshal's Office. Randy McIntyre was my partner. I was just uh, wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Who's Randy McIntyre? The day Dad died, Randy came to see us and asked us to help him with the project. Yeah, well, Randy's dead now. We found him in a ditch about 20 miles from your home. And he had lost control of his car, rolled it, and it killed him. I was wondering, why did he come to see you all? Ace and Randy were really good friends. I don't want to talk about this right now. My mother really isn't in the mood for questions. I hope you'll understand. Yeah, I understand. I, uh, really... It's kind of weird that you and Ace were shot. Uh, within 24 hours of Randy. That was strange. Hello. Hi, Abby. It's Shelly. I wanted you to know I'm praying for you. Thanks. It's been really hard. Oh, I know. You know, the Bible does say there is a time to live and a time to, to die. die. I guess it was just Ace's time to die. You know, Abby, you need to just trust God to get you through this. Pretty easy for you to say, coming from someone who's not a widow. I'd say this is a lot more than I can handle right now, and you're not making things any easier. Well, did you think Ace was going to live forever? The Bible also tells us there's a time to speak and a time to be silent, Shelley, and this is your time to be silent. There's a time for answering and a time to let it ring. I didn't ask for this. Hello? Hello, this is Abby Cooper. You came to visit me at my husband's funeral? Yes, Mrs. Cooper. Uh, first of all, let me tell you how sorry I am for your loss. Uh, is there anything I can do for you? Yes, I need help to find out why we were targeted. That's why I'm calling you. I need to know why Ace was killed. I understand. Can you tell me why Randy came to visit you and Ace that night? He wanted Ace and me to enter into the Witness Protective Program to flush out who was leaking information. And so you became targets that night. It seems Randy may have been right. Do you want to find out why Ace was killed? Yes. So should we follow through with Randy's plan? If you think it'll help me get more information, okay. Alright, well we need to get, get moving. There's been too many delays and we need to do this soon. What do you need me to do? You need to pack a bag 
I'll come by and get you, take you to the airport, and put you on a plane for Bishop. Wait a minute. This is moving way too fast. I need some time to think about this. Can I call you tomorrow? I think you need to go ahead and do this. Let me make the arrangements. Okay, I'll be ready. Hello. You ready? Yes. You all right? I suppose. I don't know why I let you talk me into not telling Roger. He's not going to be happy when he can't find me. Don't worry about it. It's for the best. I know, but it's hard losing Roger right after losing Ace. I hope I can see him again. You will. You will. Believe me. But right now I need to give you some instructions. I can't do it in public, so let's do it here. First of all, we've got you an apartment where the witnesses live. Got you a car. We need you to go to the places they went. The list of addresses are in here. And also, we got you a job at their company. Wow, what will I be doing? Basically, the same thing you did at your company. Will I have to change my name? No, we want everyone to know you're Abby Cooper from Terrence. By the way, uh, I think that Randy had an operative in Bishop. Did he tell you the name? No. What's this? I already have a cell phone. Yeah, I know, but you need to use this one because it's got all the information in it you will need. And uh, by the way, I need yours. I have Roger's number. I could call him anytime I wanted to. Uh, we know you can, but you've got this one. It has all, everything you need. It was purchased in the Bishop area. You can't call long distance. It says here that I will be attending the Heart of Christ Wesleyan Church. I didn't want to change churches. Uh, sorry, I know that, but we need you to go there. We don't know where the suspect is. We can't take the chance that he's not there. So, anyway, I think it's time to go. You ready? I suppose. Yeah, this is Steve Weatherford. Uh, can you connect me to Supervisor Culver? Culver here. Yeah, this is Steve. I'm just checking in. Hello, how can I help you? I'm Abby Cooper. Oh yes, we've been expecting you. I'm Susan Kent. Come with me and I'll introduce you to the CEO. Come in. Mr. King, this is Abby Cooper. Thank you, Susan. I'll call you in a minute and you can take Mrs. Cooper to her desk. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Cooper. Uh, have a seat, I'll explain your duties. Yes, sir. Here's some paperwork. Everything you'll need to get settled in. Mostly what you'll be doing is 10 key. Uh, are you proficient? It was one of my duties at my last job. Good. Susan will get you settled in. Susan, would you come in here a minute?
Susan, would you take Mrs. Cooper to her desk and help her to get started? Okay, come with me. King. Yeah, it's me. I was just calling to see if she settled in, and did you put her at the desk I told you to put her at? Yes. It wasn't convenient, but it's been done. How long am I going to have to deal with her? As long as it takes. And when am I going to be rid of you? Well, when I talked to her, I found out that the Marshal's office had an operative that McIntyre didn't tell me about. And she is really my only key of finding out who that is. So now you listen to me. You need to cooperate with what we're doing here. Because it's not going to be easy watching over your wife and kids from prison now, is it? Welcome all. We have great news this morning. We have reached our building fund goal. And we will have a groundbreaking ceremony next month. Let us pray and ask the Lord to bless our time together. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless this service and let it be as a sweet aroma in praise of you. And thank you for giving us the funds to build a new building which will honor you. All things come from you. We pray these things in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. This is Bia. This is Roger Cooper. Oh yes, Mr. Cooper. I was just getting ready to call you. Oh. Well, I'm looking for my mother. Is is she at work today? No, that's what I was going to call you about. We haven't heard from your mom at all, and she's always really good about calling in when she can't make it into work. We uh, tried calling her a few minutes ago, and uh, we were going to call you next. Well, she's not at home. I'm not sure where she is. Well, please let us know how she is. We've been very worried about her. We tried to get her to take uh, the month off after your dad's funeral, but she wouldn't do it. I'll let you know as soon as I find out. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. Anderson. Mr. Anderson, it's Roger Cooper. I think I need to take some time off work. Uh, I'm worried about my mom. Certainly. I think some time off for both of you to do some good. How long do you want? I think about two weeks should be long enough. Okay. If you need more time, just let me know. Thanks, Mr. Anderson. U.S. Marshal's Office. How can I help you? My name is Detective Foster Jennings. I'm investigating a missing person. I'm going to speak to a supervisor. Please hold. Thank you. Calder here. Sir, there's an officer, Foster Jennings, on the line. Okay, put him through. This is Jonathan Culver. May I help you? Yes, my name is Detective Foster Jennings. I'm investigating the disappearance of Abby Cooper and the murder of her husband. Her son had told us that there's a Hunter Mason that contacted him from your office. We don't have a Hunter Mason. Well, apparently Hunter Mason pretended he was from your office. How do you know that? Miss Cooper's son had told me. Miss Cooper left a note stating that Hunter Mason had took her to Bishop, Oklahoma. Bishop? Yes, sir. 
That's very interesting. <clears throat> Do you have the time to come and visit with me? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll be looking for you. I know this seems pretty weird, but this is really the best place for us to be private. Before we begin, I need to see your ID. You have some outstanding awards. Medal of Honor, Medal of Valor. That's pretty impressive. You know, I had to check you out before I just started talking. Oh, I understand. I can't go into detail about the investigation, but this might be a clue. We're handling Randy's investigation as per procedure. So what do I tell Miss Cooper's son? Tell him that you're collaborating with the U.S. Marshal's Office, and we can handle this. Uh, tell him we'll be in contact with him as we need to, but uh, in the meantime, we can take care of this matter. Well, I don't think he's going to like it when I tell him you just go out to wait on a phone call. Well, he'll just have to be patient. What? In that nine tenths of police investigation? Yep. <laughs> yep, yes it is. And um, you know I'd appreciate it if you would let me know if you find out anything, uh, any additional details about this matter. Oh sure, likewise. Okay, but do not call me at the office. I'll give you my personal cell phone number and you can um, text me the weather. <laughs> the weather? Yeah. You can say something like uh Seems like a bad year for rain, and I'll know that you'll want to meet, and I'll do the same. That sounds like something out of a bad detective movie. <laughs> yes, it is. Hi, may I help you? Uh, yes, I'm looking for my mother, although I, I don't know if she's actually here. What's her name? Uh, Abby Cooper. Sorry, the computer doesn't come up with a match for Abby Cooper. Well, could you tell me where the county morgue is? Actually, it's right here in this building. If you go around the corner to the elevators and then you push LL, there will be signs directing the way. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I help you? Uh, um, yes. I'm looking for my mother. What's her name? Uh, Abby Cooper. I don't see her. Um, well, she may not actually be here, but I, I have this photo. Do you have any unknowns that might match her description? I, I couldn't say, sorry. Um, could you look, please? The bodies aren't here. They took them out this morning. Uh, where's the coroner's office? By the police station. But you won't find them there either. Uh, some of them have been taken up to uh, Oklahoma City uh, for autopsies and other ones for funeral homes. Did the coroner look at the body? Yeah, it's usual procedure. Um. Could, could you give me the address and telephone number? Um, well, I, I'm kind of new to town. Could you, could you tell me how to get there? Just go out the way you came. Turn right, go through the light. It's right next to the police department. You can't mix it. Thanks. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. Where are you? How long should I trust that guy of yours? He owes me. That only lasts so long. That's why I have you. What's up? You didn't tell me she has a son. So? He's here in town, looking for her. How'd you find out? I intercepted a message the son sent on Active Connect. What's the message say? Her son said he was here in town, staying at the Regency. Room 412. Should I take care of him? No, we can't kill him yet. We might be able to use him. I really think we should get him out of the way. No, but keep the message. I'll order a phone tap and I'll keep an eye on him myself. Now or later. It doesn't matter. It's gonna have to be later. Hi everyone. Hi. Uh, Jim, Carol, Peggy, Peggy, you're gonna come with me. Uh, Natalie, uh, Roberta, Jeff, and uh, Evie. I've got a list for y'all to, to go visit. Y'all have fun. Thank you. Y'all ready? Yeah. yeah. What's up? I have a woman named Abby Cooper who has moved into the same apartment the Mitchells were living in and she is attending my church. Abby Cooper? Yeah. In the same apartment complex? The same apartment. That's interesting. I had a call last week from a Detective Jennings here in Terrace. He's, he used that name as a woman who had disappeared from her home and had gone to uh, Bishop. A man by the name of Hunter Mason claimed to be from our office and convinced her to go there. Mason said that he was Randy's partner. Is it Weatherford? I'm not sure, but Randy was beginning to suspect him. He came to me before he went to see Abby and Ace. I think you need to get close to that woman and see if that's the same Abby Cooper. Whoever he is, he has a good understanding of our operation. I'll send you the details of the investigation. I'll wait to hear from you. Hello. How you doing? Okay, I guess. What's the matter? I got a new neighbor that moved in on Sunday. And he aired up my tire. Well, that was nice of him. I suppose, but my tire didn't need aired up. He made me uncomfortable. How? There's just something about him that seems very familiar and he makes me so uncomfortable. And he's way too friendly. He calls me grandma. Well, that's nice. I suppose, but I don't like the way he says it. You're probably just skittish from what you've been through. Have you met anybody new? Yes, some people from a church came by. The pastor and a man and, and two women. I think they were sisters. 
Interesting. Is the pastor married? I don't think so. Find out if he's married. If he isn't, get to know him. He might know the guy we're looking for. That seems an awful lot like using someone. You have to get past this morality of yours. We're trying to catch her a murderer right now. If you're not careful, that murderer might get you next time. Remember, self-preservation. Okay, but you have to know I don't like your tactics. Sorry, Abby. It's the way we operate. Might not be a bad idea to start keeping a notebook. In case you forget something. Okay, I'll get one tomorrow. Take care. Thanks. Hello. Hello, Abby. This is Noah. How are you? Fine. I saw in the paper where Eric Aubrey is going to be having a concert tomorrow night in the park at 7. Would you like to go with me? I thought we could have dinner as well. Okay. Um, do you want to meet me there or are you going to pick me up? Oh, I'll pick you up. How about 6? That sounds good. Great. Goodbye. Hello? Okay. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. He's busy. I bet he's busy with Abby. It's not like you guys were dating. No, but I've known Noah longer than she has, so he should ask me out first. Did he say he was taking Abby out? Well, no. He's rather vague. He doesn't have to tell you what he's doing. <sighs> no, but I want to go there to see if with Abby, then I'll know. What's the point? You don't like that music anyway. I just want to go see if they're seeing each other, that's all. What if you do see them there? I don't know. Just leave it alone. It's better if you don't go. I'm gonna go. I'll always wonder. Okay, well at least let me go with you. No, that's okay. He might ask me to invite me to sit with him. I don't think that's a good idea. Guys don't like it if they feel like they're being manipulated. I'm not being manipulated. Besides, I need to go see if I like the music. It gives us something to talk about. You're so stubborn. Why don't you listen once in a while? I don't know why you're so worried. I'm just going to a concert. Whatever. Go if you want to, but I don't think it's a good idea. Next song is called Beyond the Darkness. It's a very personal song to me. It's just about seeing that beyond the darkness there is light. But I don't see beyond those night years. Have you lived in Terrace long? No, my parents moved us here from California. I didn't really like Terrace at first, but I got used to it. I like it now. I really miss it. How about you? I've been here all my life, except for a stint in the military. This is home and will always be home. in my mind. What to say that I don't know my whole reflection I'm so blind Beyond the darkness Beyond all the things that I see Oh, so you did come to the concert I was beyond wondering if you could make it I called Abby beyond just before you called never be Won't you join us? Here, you can sit here. I want to see what it's Who are you trying to make me seem so selfish? I mean, how long do you come to see me? Why were you making me have to feel so childish? Okay. There's something about it. I can't say that they won't be here anymore. How did you find out about it? Oh, why to cry then? I'm told it's all gonna be okay now, can't be sure. 
beyond the darkness Beyond those doors of broken dreams I Thank you. I'm terrified of spiders. Oh. Because I've seen you with my eyes. You're welcome. Give me something I be vitalized. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This all dies. I know my life. Is it that you were always right? Beyond the darkness. Beyond the doors of broken dreams. Beyond the rumors and all those things that can never be Are all those things I, I know by my faith I believe Wow, that was a great concert. Yes, it was, wasn't it? You know, I've known Eric most of his life. Yeah, I'd like to come again. Oh, hey, would you give me a ride home? Where's your car? I had Carol bring me over here, and I told her I'd call her if I need her. But since she's here, do you mind giving me a ride home? I guess. I'm home. How did you get home? Noah drove me home. Was he there by himself? No. Abby was there. How did he take you home? He invited me to join him. You didn't. He invited me to sit in his chair. He sat between me and Abby. Peggy! What? Did Abby say anything? Not much. What could she say? He invited me to sit with him. I wasn't going to say no. Well, you should have. He asked Abby to the concert, not you. Carol. She wore jeans and a t-shirt, and I can't help but keep thinking that she should have dressed up. They were at the park, not going to a wedding. So where was Abby when Noah took you home? She sat in the back. Anyway, Noah and I had a great conversation. I think he likes me more than Abby. He didn't say much to her at all. Are you sure Noah invited you, or was he just being nice? Of course I'm sure. Look, if you want Noah to really like you, there's nothing you can do to force this. You need to back off. Why do you always have to be so negative? Of course he likes me. Why else would he offer me his chair? Because he's a nice guy. And he's the pastor. You're right about a lot of things. But you're wrong about this. I feel it. Look, whatever. It's late and I'm tired. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, it's late. What do you want? You told me to keep you updated. The woman and a guy from the church went to a concert. I followed them. Did you find anything out? Yep. Well, what? The guy is a widower of a woman I took out a couple of years before I met you. Do you remember any details? I remember every detail about every one. Is there anything particular about this one, though? Uh, I mean, that had to be three years ago. Four years. Uh, what's a year, give or take? I told you I remember details. Well, give me details. I was working for a guy named Gunn. Apparently, he and another guy were discussing plans, and the woman was filming the whole thing. He told me to lose her. I ran her off the road. It was almost too easy. So, do you think there's any connection to what we're doing? Nah, but it's funny. Now I've got my sights on the husband. But he won't be any trouble. He thinks I'm okay. Yeah, they all think you're okay. But we know better, don't we? By the way, I think my boss suspects something. Make it look like an accident. What, what about the woman? Have you got her confidence yet? Not yet. Well, you better. I'm working on it. 
Just be careful. I don't want anything to go wrong with this. When have I been anything but careful? Last night was the first time I really enjoyed myself since the Ace has been gone. Even with the Peggy episode? Yes, even with the Peggy episode. Do you want to talk about Ace? Not really. Were you ever married? Yes. She was beautiful. I haven't been interested in seeing anyone since I lost an alley. No one can ever replace her. What happened? She was run off the road and, and died. I'm sorry. It's terrible to lose someone in an accident. It wasn't an accident. How did you work, work through the loss of your wife? At first, I pretended that the Lord was helping me through it. Then I went on a long weekend by myself. I spent the entire weekend crying and telling God how angry I was. What happened? I felt His presence. And I realized that sometimes bad things happen to people. But the promise is that God will help us through it and He's always with us. I've lost all my faith. I don't read the Bible or pray anymore. I wish I knew how to help. But all I know is God wants you to be honest with Him. The hope that is in the Bible is that God loves us and is there with us through terrible times. Thanks for the night out and for the coffee. We'll have to do it again without Peggy. Okay, I'd like that. It's getting late. I'm ready to go back to my apartment. I'll see you Sunday though, right? Drive me to the Regency. What happened? Well, the coroner called Cooper, said he didn't recognize the person in the photograph as one of the bodies he dealt with. So? So that means he's been downtown around his mother's office, and we gotta go pick him up. Officer Jennings. Uh, this is Roger Cooper. Roger. I'm worried about my mom. Well, I found out that they're investigating Randy McIntyre's death. The supervisor in charge of the investigation thinks you're... Roger. Roger, can you hear me? Stringer. Your mom is quite a lady. We've got all the evidence we need and she's going to testify. So this whole ordeal is almost over? Yep. How long have you been in Bishop? Uh, just uh, a couple days. Well, pretty soon it's all going to be over and he'll be reunited. Ow! What's the matter? This uh, felt a little prick or like a needle or something. He's not going to like what he wakes up to. Yeah, but don't kill him yet. Kill him with the others. I wouldn't dream of killing him right away. You awake, sonny boy? How you feeling? I've been better. I imagine so. Another Christian. Really? 
you carry this crutch with you everywhere you go. Huh. What's being a Christian doing for you now? <laughs> I killed your fat dad. Why? It was my job. I didn't get to do the job the way I preferred, but it was my prerogative. Now, Pretty soon, I have your mom and that preacher she's been seeing. Coward! Pretty strong word coming from someone in your position. But sticks and stones. <coughs> you should be very afraid. You're going to have to answer for everything you've done. And who should I be afraid of? You? God? You're threatening me? If God really exists, he doesn't care what's going on. What? Where are you? Doing some entertainment. Leave him. Get back to Abby's house. I need you to stay on task. Well, I guess I have to go. Don't you work. So what's up? Well, you have to excuse me a little bit. Today's Saturday. I take work home, so I got a little catching up to do here. In the meanwhile, I would like you to read this. So bodies are always been discovered. Did I ever tell you about Kevin Mitchell? No. Well, Kevin and his family were moved to uh, Bishop shortly after he joined the WITSEC program. We relocated them to Bishop so that they could be watched over by uh, Noah Boatwright, I believe it was, who's a uh, pastor at one of the local churches there. You have a pastor as an operative? Yes. But the thing is that not long after uh, Randy had settled in in Bishop, he, his wife, his children, the whole family disappeared. Randy came to me at that time and said that he had begun to suspect his partner, Steve Weatherford, had something to do with this. Somehow your suspect found out what Randy was planning and had Ace knocked off and intended on knocking Abby off all of two. Exactly. Exactly right. So, Steve Weatherford, he's a dirty cop. Well, that's what I'm thinking. But why and how did he to con Abby into going to Bishop? Well, I, I think the how is pretty simple. I think that what they did was he, he approached Abby when she was in a very fragile state of mind. The why is a little more difficult, and I haven't quite figured that part out yet. But I'll tell you one thing I know is that we need to change our code here. So if you need to see me and, or I need to see you uh, in the future, what we'll do is we'll uh, text um, gold is up. Told you not to kill him. He ain't dead yet. Where'd you get that thing anyway? 
DIY electronics. Uh, I, don't, I don't need to be wasting my money on your crap. Why not? You got plenty of it. I never have enough, believe me. You need to get back to what I told you to do. Let's go. Jennings, this is Culver. Yeah, I've made arrangements to go to Bishop. Would you like to go with me? When? Now. I'll be right there. Why did his people suffer? After my mom died, my dad married a woman who abused me. I ran away from home and lived on the street. Now I just want to turn my life around. Hi. Well, that is doing great, I guess. What about that guy Clayton? What makes him think he's so bad? I don't know. My husband would have loved passing the lost song today. What about yours? I don't know. I lost mine to cancer. I'm sorry. Yeah, it took a long time to get over. Noah's helped me a lot. He's a nice guy. Yeah, we have become close. We've got a connection. I don't know if you noticed it last night. What's your point? You know that you've asked. Noah and I are in a relationship. And I just wanted to make sure you understood that. Peggy, a relationship can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. Uh, if it will ease your mind, I'm just looking for friendship. I'm still trying to get over the loss of my husband. It doesn't seem like it's something I want to get over. Abby! What just happened? I'm not sure. She was in the bathroom when I went. I saw her through she's car, so I was trying to make her feel better. Would you like to get to my house for dinner tonight? No, thank you. I had to check on you. Why did you preach that sermon? It was hard for me to preach that sermon. You have to know that. You're the pastor of that church. You can preach anything you want. I have to preach what the Lord tells me to preach. Right, as if you didn't have a choice. I'm sorry you're so mad at me. The Holy Spirit is in charge of my sermons. I can't modify them. I can't pretend anymore. My husband and I were both shot. I came to Bishop to find out why. Ace didn't deserve to die that way. I think we need to change the scenery. I suppose I'm really a mess.
she died here. I come here often. I know it's morbid, but I can't help myself. We do not know why things happen, you know that. If you could see God here with us right now, what would you say to Him? It's so unfair. We were supposed to live our lives getting old together. I feel so alone. It's like God doesn't love me enough to give me the answers I need. I would ask Him why as well. I would ask him why the man who killed my wife was able to get away with it. Didn't the Lord promise to take care of us? I don't know. I don't know if I even know how to pray anymore. Let's try. I'll go first. Father, Help us through this pain. Only you know what we're going through. Help us to accept it and leave it as it is and leave it with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Help me, Lord. Hey, I know this little ice cream stand in Tyler. Would you like to go? Sure. We don't need to stay here any longer. Clayton here. What is it? I was right. That preacher is the guy you've been looking for. Where's he now? It looks like he's going toward Tyler. It's on the same road his wife went off. You happy with him? Yeah. Be following him? Of course. Take care of them. Call me when this business is over. What's wrong? Have you seen that car that's behind us before? It looks like Clay. You know, I've been seeing that car a lot lately. And you know, it always seems like I see it when I'm with you. <laughs> it is Clay. I'm going to try to lose him. Can you see Clayton? Clayton's out there. He's got a gun. <laughs> what do you think you're gonna do with that, Grandma? I'll be a gentleman. Let you take the first swing. <laughs> you're a dead woman! Oh, Hunter, thank goodness. For a while, I thought you... What are you doing? Sorry, Abby. I've got to protect my investments. So do I.
You're going to be the death of me. You? How am I ever going to explain this to my congregation? Which one of you guys did this? My mother. Don't remind me never to. Let your mom get mad at me. Hey, Noah. You know, if you two ever got together, you know, got together, you'd make a heck of a team. Thanks for taking me to the airport last week to see Roger off. It was my pleasure. Thanks for staying an extra week. You think you'll ever be able to move here? We've been through a lot together. You know I can't think about that right now. And you can't think about leaving Bishop. You've lived here all your life and you have your congregation. But I sure would like for you to move to Bishop. I, I might, but I still love Ace. I need some time. Besides, you still have Peggy to keep busy. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You know, I came here to find out why Asia died. What did you find out? You were right. Jesus didn't promise an easy road. He loves me, and I'll never be alone. And He has given me peace, and that's all I ever needed.
Hello. Don't you need the phone to your ear? <laughs> It might be helpful. <laughs> Hope to hear from you soon. You'll hear from us on the way or the other. See you, Bob. What? He walked right into the wicker man over here. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't he did, laugh at that. I started to, uh, he was like. <laughs> Uh, the Bible promises that, um, okay, I just blew it. <laughs> All right, well, we need to get, get moving. There's been too many delays, and we need to do this soon. Forget it. <laughs> no, I made a face. I made a face. Rolling. My, my sunglasses. Don't your face. face. Oh, I'm on. All right. <laughs> yeah, I think you still are going to need to speak up. Okay. Okay. Who's Randy McIntyre? <laughs> change our code okay so from now on when we want to meet uh, text um, gold is up now why do you always roll your eyes when I change the code Culver here Cut. <laughs> they're going who's he looking at for me to know or for you to find out. <laughs> I told you, gold is a good thing. You have some outstanding awards. It's very impressive. Medal of Honor, Medal of Valor. Very impressive. I understand. That's why I roll my Look, I'm sorry. We're too close. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get comfortable here, being okay. cozy with each other. All right. I'm going to introduce you to my agent, my agent that takes care of my gold over at the uh, Rizzo Super Theft Gold Selling Market. Uh, sir, there's no bodies here. They took them out this morning. Sorry, for some reason my my Surrey kicked on. I don't know why. Because you're in the morgue. Yeah, that's creepy. Thank you. I got stuck. He doesn't care about what's going on. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> Keep it. You keep up with you until you have absolutely no money left. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
Camera! Rolling! <laughs> Don't change the script. Change the script just a little bit. Testing, testing. One, two, three. I lost my cancer. We want to plant you and Abby in Bishop, Oklahoma as part of the program. It's where we lost our last witness. We're not going to get killed. I wouldn't dream of killing him right away. Make it look like an accident. Next song is called Beyond the Darkness. Dastardly plots, dastardly deeds, hatched by dastardly men on the dark and dangerous side of town. I really think we should get him out of the way. No, we can't kill him yet. We might be able to use him. Give a beat down. He's not going to like what he wakes up to. I didn't ask for this. I need to know why Ace was killed. Oh, Hunter, I'm so glad to see What are you doing? You're a dead woman! So bodies are always being found. The bodies aren't here. They took them out this morning. She died here.
That's pretty impressive. So that means he's been downtown around his mother's office, and we gotta go pick him up. I like something out of a bad movie. <laughs> yes, it is.